What's going on guys? Yearing with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to Pokemon White Platinum, the Nuzlocke run in the last episode. A certain little Caterpie was a tad bit intoxicated and accidentally killed every single good Pokemon on his team. I'm not going to say who it was, but it was probably me. So, yeah. And honestly, I, I, I'm i sorry, I'm just going to like stand here for a second because I'm... I want to talk about this really quick. A lot of people were like really upset that I did that. They're saying I should, I should like get another try because I was drunk. And um, honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, this is probably the best thing that could have happened in this Nuzlocke run. Getting fresh team members. Because, I mean, look how long Orange had been on the team. Look how long Cluckers had been on the team. They were... You gotta admit, it was getting a little bit stale. And it was, wasn't that much fun having those Pokemon that were just destroying everything. And, you know, finally they're dead and we're having a bit of a change of pace. And it feels different and new and exciting so well no i'm just gonna point out now people are probably gonna think i did that on purpose obviously you can't plan getting swept by a site you just you can't plan that but um it it wasn't done on purpose but now thinking back i'm actually very glad it happened because it, i think it's given this series a nice fresh kind of rebootish kind of feeling so um i had you guys vote and you guys are so crazy because no matter what you're almost always like split right down the middle on any kind of decision well it there's always a lot of different opinions in my subscriber base and Team Caterpie, which is awesome because you you can get into like little arguments with each other and it's so cool because, well, except for getting in arguments. Okay, let's just get on with this. Anyways, I had you guys vote on whether I should wear candy or whether I should do the actual grinding. It's weird how the people that said I should actually do the grinding was like, oh, very vocal, but they were such a small minority. Like 17% said I should act, do the actual grinding. And 83% said I should wear candy. And for the record, the whole purpose of the poll is for you guys to go there and vote and not spam the comments. Because literally 80% like of comments is people just saying rare candy or grind. There was like no actual feedback on the video, which is extremely annoying. So when there's a poll, there's no need to comment. Okay, just yeah, comment about something else. Actually, that happens in the video. That's all I'm going to say. Anyways, here's our new team. I've got everybody up to 70. Some may think that's a little high, but considering the next gym, some Pokemon are like around 76. And the gym after that's like almost level 80. This seems like a decent level. So we have Chewy, the Obama Snow with Ice Beam, Weech Seed, Giga Drain, and Ingrain. Tyranitar, or Dino, the Tyranitar with Rockside, Crunch, Earthquake. I wanted to get rid of Dig. I really do. But we need the stupid TM to progress with the game. So that made me sad. Uh, Charizard, who you guys are probably very glad I'm finally using Delaney, who is Fly, Slash, Flamethrower, and Dragon Claw. Um, Dan Denor, the Dragon Knight, who this is actually, I think, my first Dragon Knight in any of my Nuzlocke's, who has Outrage, Fly, Shockwave, and Flamethrower. I was going back and forth on whether I should give him Ice Beam or Shockwave, because I didn't have a Thunderbolt team anymore. I decided having three Pokemon on my team with Ice Beam is kind of a little much, but there's one downside to this. His nature is modest, which, or his nature is adamant, which raises special attack and lowers, or raises physical attack and lowers special attack, so we don't have the best special attack stat, but our three of our moves are special, so, but imagine how much damage Fly is, wait, Fly's only 70 base power? What? I always thought Fly was like 80 or 90. Huh, well, oh, wait, I'm not done with my Pokemon. <laughs> uh, next up, we got Jerpus, the Lucario, who has... Um, a very, very powerful move set. I mean, his attack stat is 190. Uh, he is an adamant nature as well, which is awesome. He has extreme speed, iron tail, cross chop, and unfortunately, focus punch. I pro I will get rid of this probably when we get to the Elite Four, because I just don't know if we need it anymore, and that's why I'm keeping it. Um, the good, the good thing with him is that his attacks hit really hard. The bad thing is they have really bad accuracy, because 80 and 75, so... Yeah, that's the bad thing about Jerpus. And we got PB&J, the Samurott with Sword Stance, Surf, Slash, and Ice Beam. So, yeah, there's not much to talk about there. Anyways, before, unfortunately, we got to use one of our dead Pokemon. So, Cluckers is now going to just be a TM Slave. He's still dead. And I think I will be taking, um, I'll put PB&J in the box for now. And we'll come back and get him later. So, the only thing I'm going to be using Cluckers for is as a TM Slave. So, I apologize if you, some of you are, like, upset with that. But the fact that I literally need Ice Smash to progress in this game and you, that's a TM in this game, so you only get like one of it. I have to use Cluckers. I don't have a say in the matter. So I apologize. Some of you are going to be like, oh, he's dead. Even though, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I seriously doubt any of you are actually like complaining. And I'm probably just over exaggerating in this situation, which I always seem to do a lot. So, yeah, we're using Cluckers. So nobody's bitching, and yet I won't shut up about it. Okay, Hardy, just be quiet. Nobody cares. 
Fine, I'm just trying to state my opinion. No, Artie, you gotta be quiet. You just, all you ever do is talk. You just gotta realize nobody here actually cares about what you're saying. They just want to see you kill things because for some reason they seem to try to find a little bit of entertainment in that. And I just don't understand why. This legendary Pokemon will belong to Team Steam. By the way, that's Kyrim in the background. Just saying. You won't get in the way. You will get in our way again. I hate you. <gasps> wow, dude, that's, that's like really harsh. What did I ever do to you? You're a rat destroying Team Steam and turning us into a joke, but this time I'll destroy you. I don't get it, dude. Hate is a really, really mean word. I mean, yes, I kind of hate Scyther now. I still hate Amistar. Um, freaking Amistar. Ugh. Okay, so anyways, we we're taking on the Team Steam dude, boss guy who, uh, he should have gone for Outrage. I mean, he has Outrage. He could have used that and done like a ton of damage, but no, instead he goes for Agility, so I'm just going to Ice Beam him. And that's definitely like, gonna one shot him because he doesn't have multi scale in this. Multi scale, gosh, such a freaking like scary powerful move. I hate it. It's not even a move, it's an ability. And I don't even know what I'm talking about, but I'm just trying to say um, Earthquake. We resist that, luckily, so I doubt it's gonna do very much. Um, you guys remember earlier when I was talking about like you guys doing that poll and I said you guys are like, you have a lot of different opinions? Uh, that was even more so um, looking at the last video because. Half of you enjoyed the video, and you know you found it entertaining, and then the other half of you thought it was like a really bad video. You said I was like boring and monotone, and looking back at it, I was like very monotone. I had like the same. I didn't like show any emotion through that entire video. Like I watched it this morning, like after I uploaded it, and I'm like, oh my god, this is so bad. But, um, whoa, 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 what? Ah, uh, I feel so violated. Oh my god, just ah. Uh. That was so weird. Okay. Well, anyways, um, I think we, like, beat Team Steam or whatever. So now we can continue on our road. And, oh, actually, before I forget, there's something I actually have to do. So we have to go back to this previous town because if we don't, then we're going to have to do it later. Then I'm going to be very upset. And I don't want to be very upset because I don't like being very upset because I like being happy because happy thoughts are nice. You should always try to be happy with anything you do in your life because it'll make you that much better of a person and I'm not even fully sure, like, what I'm talking about right now, but you guys are just going to have to believe in me. I promise I'm not drunk. Don't worry. I'm, I'm like, 112% sober. Although this morning, like, when I woke up, I did still feel, like, a little buzz. I don't know why. I was just, like, in a... Why is there dogs barking outside? I don't know if you could hear that, but it's, like, very annoying. Okay. Um, as I was saying, we have to... Actually, we should probably go put Cluckers back in the box, because we don't need them anymore. Cluckers, thank you for letting us use your dead body to smash your head into rocks. I'm going to go get PB&J now. Samurott. Samurox. <laughs> Useless puns. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Purloin's not dead. What are you doing in here? Uh, oh yeah, I decided not to take Gato, so put him back in there. Silly Purloin. Tricks are for kids. Alright, so we got to find a house in here that sells berries, and I think it's this one? Uh, yes, and we have to buy a specific berry, and you guys will see why later. And that is the Enigma Berry. Okay, yeah, I know, I actually, like, know what's going on in this game for once. I know, it surprised me, too. That's, like, that, beauty, that list I had to use on, um, like, two episodes because I got completely lost and started yelling at everything. Um, I've been using that for, like, the, so i somewhat using it. I only read, like, a little bit up on it on what I'm, like, supposed to be doing as far as, like, where I'm going to go and stuff and, like, get, like, buy things. And I don't even remember, like, what I'm talking about at this point, but, um... Basically, we need an Enigma Berry to progress in the story, as you guys will see in a little bit. So, I think this is still the same route, so we can't catch anything here, which makes me a little sad. And, I I don't want to, well, I, I kind of want to catch new Pokemon, but at the same time, it's like, is there really a point? Because, I don't really want to train anyone else. I kind of, I kind of want to make it so that, like, this is going to be, like, my final six Pokemon of this Nuzlocke. Like, once they die, and I'm just down to a five-person party. Because, mainly, because I don't. There's, like, no one in the box I want to use and that I want to train. So, but at the same time, like, if I catch, like, a really good Pokemon later, then I'm going to be very sad. Anyways, we are now in this new town. And if we come over here, this guy will be like, Sorry, the leader's in the gym is with his Alkazam in the hospital. So, we got to go over to the Poka Hospital and go take care of his Alkazam because he's a useless bum. And normally, if you don't have the Enigma Berry and you come in here, he's like, Dude, my Alkazam is sick. Go buy me a berry, bitch. So, you got to go buy him a berry. But this time... He, we already have the berry, so hey, can you give me that Enigma berry to cure my Alkazam's fever? Kil Kilroy, 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 where have I heard that name before? I feel like it was in a song, like there's a song where there's like a guy named Kilroy. I don't know, anyways, he can just teleport right out of this building, because apparently Alkazams can't teleport when they have fevers, because, you know, that makes sense. I can't teleport, obviously, when I don't have a fever, 
So it is... Oh! Okay, it is not time to take on the gym yet. Well, um... What is he going to lead with? I don't know. How is Chewie already 71? Oh, that's because we've like only been using Chewie. Alright, you know what? Let's start off with Delaney. I have a good feeling about Delaney. And let's go take on our wannabe. Finally, you made it again. I've grown up and trained a lot. I hope you're prepared to meet my new team. Oh, oh god, I'm so ready to meet your new team. I also have a new team, sir. So this is going to be a very exciting experience of... Oh, you actually have three po... Oh, wait, Delaney. Um, it's raining. Wow, that's, that's fantastic. Okay. So, I can't use Flamethrower because of the stupid rain, it would only do neutral damage. So let's just try getting poisoned instead. Are we gonna get poisoned? Okay, wow, we actually didn't get poisoned. Can Superior even learn Sludge Bomb? Where, where does the Sludge come out of in Superior? That's like really disturbing now that I'm thinking about it. Like, does, does it like just Superior Vomit? Or what's going on there? I need to get to the bottom of this because it's like driving me insane. What is this superior sludge that we're being thrown at? Is it like, I know sometimes snakes are slimy. Is this just like random slime off a of superior that is just like flinging over at us or? I, you know, this is extremely disturbing and I feel like very inappropriate now that I'm like learning more about what exactly superior is doing with all of its leftovers. So let's, um, oh my God. I just realized I've like had, what that? did so much okay but it's okay because another giga dream will kill it and wow freaking we resist hydro pump and that's still did okay the rain i forgot the rain um does rain double power or does rain just add by 50 percent i actually i don't remember actually now that i'm thinking about that i should put some research into that anyways we could just rock slide this poor charizard oh my god he has dragon rage never mind we're all gonna die no don't do it don't do it i need that 40 hp what am i supposed to do now that i have 40 less hp that would kill, like, a level 4 Pokemon. Oh, my God. You're so cruel. Oh. Oh, Dino lived? Oh, okay. Yeah, never mind. That's cool. Oh, my God. Yellow turned into red. That's awesome. Well done. I'm going to go to Iron Them City to get my last non patch. Goodbye. Charles out, you fly. That was a Pidgeot, sir. You flew off on a Pidgeot. Anyways, this gym, I would, I'm not going to tell you what type it is. I'm not going to spoil it. Although, you actually probably already know from the fact that he is an Alakazam. So we're going to be going in with Dino and take on all the gym trainers here because we have Crunch and we're awesome. So I actually don't know how this puzzle works. I think like you can only walk up on these tiles and you can only walk down on these tiles because like, look, now we can't walk up those. It makes no sense like looking at the design. I don't know how you're supposed to know that. I mean, you think it just have like a up arrow, but freaking light platinum logic, man. I thought there was like no such thing as poker logic. White Platinum Logic is even worse. It's even more confusing, and it just, it doesn't exist. So, did that say Electabuzz? I didn't realize Electabuzz was a Psychic type. Oh, no, that's Executor. Oh, well, in that case, I probably should have, actually, never mind. I don't know why the gym trainers are so low. Like, these guys are only 56, when his actual Pokemon are going to be, like, 76. So, more White Platinum Logic. Ugh. Okay, we got to try to figure out which is worse, Poke Logic or light platinum logic because neither one of them seems to be a real thing here and I'm starting to just like question the entire thing like is Pokemon even real I don't know and I'm okay I'm done with that topic I'm gonna talk about something else I'm so freaking excited for X and Y I pre-ordered okay I'll tell you guys the story of um, me pre-ordering Y so I by the way I pre-ordered Y because um, Rusty when she eventually gets a 3DS will be getting X because of the deer legendary and in general I just think the deer legendary looks kind of stupid don't tell her I said that and, um, so, I went to pre-order Y at GameStop the other day, and I go in GameStop, like, decently enough, so the people there recognize me, and they, like, know who I am. Um, I wouldn't exactly say I'm, like, friends with anybody in there, but we're, like, acquaintances, I suppose you could say. And he thought it would be fun. Like, I told him, I went in there, like, I want to po pre-order Pokemon Y. And so he, like, typed it up in the system and everything, and then he looked at me, and he said, Oh, I'm sorry, we're all sold out. And it was like the most heartbreaking moment for me because to be fair, I could have just gone to Walmart and pre-order it there. But th it was just a realization like first I waited too long to get Y. I'm like, oh my God, now I have to get X. <laughs> and it was just like, it was an extremely heartbreaking moment and very emotional for me. And then he just started laughing and I'm like, what are you? I, just, I couldn't figure out what he was laughing at. And then he's like, oh, I'm just kidding. I just wanted to see your expression. <laughs> it, was, it was the 
this is probably not nearly as funny. Now that I like told the story, I'm realizing like, wow, this isn't a funny story. Um, so this just kind of got really awkward now because my story wasn't funny. But basically, the dude was a giant troll and decided to have fun with me by saying that they're out of pre-orders just to see like what it's like when a young Caterpie's heart is broken because he wants to play as a weird sound red bird thing. It's not weird, it's Pokemans. Okay? I like Caterpies, too. And I... I don't know what my opinion is on, like, the new... The 6th gen bug thing that turns into, like, the pink butterfly. I don't really, I don't really know what my opinion, is, my opinion is on that. I haven't really, really taken the time to look at it very much and see it. But... I don't think I'm probably going to be, like, the hugest fan of it. I'll, I actually have no idea what team I'm going to be using. I know I'm going to be using a chess pin as my... Well, I don't know. Froakie's starting to win me over just because Froakie's evolution looks so freaking pimping. And that's the first time I've ever used the word pimping. But, I mean, he looks like a pimp. Look at him. He looks so suave and sexy. And I just... He's, like, inviting you over and seductive and stuff. And my poor chess pin. Oh, my God. They turned him into a jelly bean. I hate it. Um, and the Kanto starters... I, my Kanto starter pick will probably depend on whatever. If I choose Froki, then I'll probably go with Bulbasaur. And, or, or if I choose Froki, I'll probably go Charmander. If I choose Chespin, I'll probably go with um, Squirtle. Which sucks, because Bulbasaur is like my favorite of the Kanto starters. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I want I, I like, I, how do you get out of here? We gotta use the stupid moons. Like, I want to use Bulbasaur, because I like... I really like, this is why I like Abomasaur so much, I love, like, Leech Seed, it's such a fun move, because you can just troll people, and that's, like, the only reason I love Bulbasaur and Venusaur so much, is because they learn Leech Seed, and you can just troll the crap out of people, so, other news, now comes the fun part, where I have absolutely no idea what to do, last time I played Light Platinum, I was stuck in this area for so long, because I couldn't figure anything out, I knew we had to fly to, like, this Iron Nim Island, but I couldn't figure out how to do it, so, travel by balloon, you must have a ticket, yeah, I, di I didn't know where to get the stupid ticket, and, what? <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll be waiting. For... For what? Exactly? Wait, what are you waiting for? Can we just go buy a ticket? I don't know. Now you guys are just gonna, like, watch me ramble around and try to figure out what's going on. Because I don't want to be bothered, like, turning on my computer. Well, my computer's already on. I don't want to be bothered looking at the website because it's, like, I have to click two things. It's just a huge effort. But I believe there's actually Northern Path we could take, so... Let's try going up here and seeing what's on Route 512, where we can actually catch a new Pokemon. But before that, we're going to beat up this girl who somehow is all of a sudden in a bikini. But I'm not going to complain because, you know, bikinis are awesome. And, oh my god, Kingler has mud slap or shot, or... Kingler has come shot. That's awesome. And now we're, we're getting... Okay, you know, just die by the sandstorm. You could have died like a man, and instead you chose to die via sandstorm. Do you feel accomplished right now? Do you feel satisfied with yourself, Kingler? That you... Okay, now you're, now Blastoise is just going to be here and be a bitch. Okay, that's cool. What is... I, I like this bikini girl uh, chick at first. I thought she was awesome. And now, you know, she just seems rather rude. And look, another Pokemon's going to freaking die to the sand... Can I not kill anything in this video? Sandstorm's overpowered. Okay, so... Um, I don't know what's up this way. And I... I are we supposed to go this way? I don't know. Do we have any repels? Because I... I can't be bothered... Okay, we have a ton of super repels. Um, I can't be bothered, like, actually fi figuring out anything. So we're just going to go surfing. Because surfing is... F okay, there's nothing that way. I bet it's over this way. Let's ask this nice gentleman on his way, Omer. I'm sure he'll give us advice. Wait. No, sir. I don't I don't, I don't want to battle you. Sir, no. Wait. I just wanted advice on... Oh, what did... Okay, you actually have a Wailmer. And once again, I'm going to bring up the logic of if I kill your Wailmer, does it die and you sink into the ocean and then drown? Because I would be okay with that if that is to happen. Wow, Float so freaking lives the shockwave. That probably okay. You know what? We're just gonna out. We're gonna outrage you all now. Yeah. Oh, that was totally necessary. We needed that crit. We wouldn't have killed that Float so otherwise. Um, that's like the bad thing about this Dragonite. Is he has a special attack reducing nature, and he has like I can't give him like any. Oh. That's scary. Look how much we did to ourselves just hitting ourselves. Um, okay, Hardy, let's be smart. Don't want. Okay, you know, our defense is way too low. I'm getting out. Screw. D abort, abort, abort. Okay, Fury Swipes probably wouldn't have killed me, but I was still just absolutely terrifying. I almost lost my Dragonite, guys. I looked at him and he looked at me, and we are like, our eyes met. And it was just this moment where he was looking at me and saying, Why, Hardy? Why? And I, I just. 
My god! Oh, Denor, why are you so weak? This is pathetic. I need Thunderbolt really bad. It's pro I know it's probably due to like Shockwave being such a weak move normally. But still, just... Denor... I should only use Fly on Denor. That should be the only move I use on him. And I'm gonna... Screw this, I'm killing freaking Bibarel with a flamethrower. That's for everybody who wants me to use Bidoofus. You see that Bibarel that just died? That's Bidoofus now. He's dead. He's never being used. I'll tell you what, if I white out... If I white out in the rest of this Nuzlocke, I will level Bidoof up to level 100, and we will play using just a level 100 Bidoof. And we will finish the game like that. That is my promise to you guys. If I white out... Somebody, I really hope nobody remembers that I said that because I really don't want to do that. But if I have to, you know, if push comes to shove, I will play the rest of this game with a level 100 Bidoof. Just for you guys, just for you few people out there who actually want to see Bidoofus be used, you horrible, weird people. That is my promise to you. And I hope you can appreciate that. So, I really want to use Jerpus, but I just, I can't be bothered using his like really bad accuracy moves. So instead we're going to use PB and J, because I want to slash things, because... Wow, look at that. Slash does like the same amount as Dragonite Shockwave. What? That's doing a lot of damage. And a Polyrath. So for Polyrath, let's go... Oh! Oh my god! Denor, you can actually hit Polyrath super effective with Fly, and it's totally going to watch... Oh my god, Polyrath is Water Gun. Get out of there while you're still alive, Dragonite. You're not going to... Okay. Where are we going? Oh! Oh! Land! It's okay, we got... This totally useless piece of land. That was... Okay. Um, I actually think I... Yeah, Denor could use a super potion. Oh! Wow! Okay, I didn't need to take the boat? Or I didn't need to take the stupid plane? Are you serious? This whole time I thought I had to take the plane. Wow. Okay, well, that's freaking cool. And big, wow. Alright. Getting my hopes up for nothing. Well, I think that's going to wrap up our day today, guys. Next time we'll be taking on the 8th gym in the Warren League. And then we'll probably be assuming we win... We'll be making our way to the Elite Four. And this Nuzlocke run is almost coming to an end. I wonder if you guys know what my next Nuzlocke is going to be. I know what it is. Do you? I doubt it because I haven't given a single hint towards it. So I'm literally the only one who knows. And I'm going to stop teasing you guys now. So if you enjoyed the video and the fact that I'm not drunk and the fact that nothing died for some odd reason, we, we got to change that. Things are going to have to die really soon. Make sure to like the video. How about... 198 likes that's a good number almost 200 but it's a lot better so yeah i'm hardy tick yo yo peace